What's up guys? It's Adam from Answers with Adam. I've been getting a lot of questions lately asking the difference between a long arm and short arm suspension system. Hey Adam, I have a question. What's the difference between a long arm and short arm suspension system? And then I have a follow up question. What's that? Why are they called arms when they're on the ground? Shouldn't they be legs? Let's go check it out. Okay. Okay, before we jump into specifics, you have to ask yourself what the rig is going to be used for. Is it a daily driver or is it an off-road only rig? Or is it a combination of both? That's going to help you decide whether you want to take the plunge into long arm territory. Today we're going to use two LJs, both on 4 inch lifts, both on 35s. This will let you see the difference pretty easily. Let's go check out the short arm. First we're going to take a look at our short arms. These will use the factory mounting points and it's a direct bolt up, so there's no cutting or welding required. It's gonna give you a factory-like ride, so on bumpy roads, you may get a little bit of jarring. Check out our transfer case skid plate. It's hanging down pretty low. Remember that for when we check out the long arm. Okay, now onto our long arm. First thing you're gonna notice, look at the length of our control arm, hence long arm. The original pivot point was back here. That gets cut off and moves it up here which gives you more leverage. This is gonna give you a better on-road ride and it's gonna give you better articulation when you're off-road. Now, check out our skid plate. Look how it sucks everything up underneath. Better for off-road clearance. Now, let's go see these guys in action. Now that our short arm kit's up on the RTI ramp, check out how far up it went. Our long arm kit should go higher. This is measuring the amount of flex in the suspension system. With our short arm suspension system, the center of our tire was about right here. With the long arm, we came up about an additional foot. What's that mean, Adam? That means better suspension articulation, which translates into keeping all four tires on the ground where they should be. Oh yeah! Long arm, no problem. Short arm, problem. And that's the difference between a long arm and a short arm suspension system. If you have a question that needs an answer from Adam, leave it in the comments below. Also, be sure to like and subscribe. You still never answered my question. Why is it called a long arm kit and not a long leg kit?